morning, good morning. We just finished fueling up over here at the Flying J and we got ourselves a reload. Dispatch told us to uh, go over to Yorkton, uh, Saskatchewan and we will make our way over there and pick up a preloaded trailer. We will keep our fingers crossed that that load is going to be ready. It is Monday today, apparently. Doesn't feel like it. And so I suspect that that load ain't going to be ready till this afternoon, but oh well, we'll make our way over there. We got two hours until we get there. We got about 187 kilometers, so that's two hours for the driving. So let's get out of here and make our way down. Here we go. We are just about to take our take left the exit. To, the left on Highway 10 East Yorkton. to go to Yorkton. That's Highway 10 eastbound. Yep. That's a little bit of a detour to go home, but not much. If everything goes according to plan, if our load will be ready today, early enough at least, then I should be able to make it home today. I would be very happy if I could be home tonight. Yep. Got a little bit taste, a little bit of a taste yesterday being around with the family again and I miss them you know continue on this road for 47 kilometers so I like to go back home and spend some more time with them you know yeah well at least it's uh, nice and sunny today and uh, while I was unloading yesterday at the uh, customer in Regina I noticed that they had uh, free Wi-Fi up there and it was pretty fast Wi-Fi up there too it was uh, I think probably faster Wi-Fi than I got at home and I got pretty fast Wi-Fi at home just the upload is uh, is not very fast you know it's not slow but this one was you know very extremely fast I've never had a, a internet connection that has been that fast with upload speed download speeds you can get all kinds of download speeds with you know, with, uh, with, you know uh, different uh, different Wi-Fi connections but I never had a very good uh, upload connection and today I did uh, I mean yesterday and uh, so I was checking out uh, some YouTube channels and uh, watching some videos. Watch Trucker Jukebox's uh, video and uh, and uh, uploaded a few of my videos. I was a little bit behind, and uh, so I went on there and uploaded a few of my uh, my own videos. And uh, I came across uh, a video that uh, I didn't expect. I uh, recently subscribed to a uh, YouTuber and uh, just started watching his videos. And I know I'm dragging it out a little bit. I'm doing that on purpose. But anyways, he uh, had a video up yesterday and he uh, gave me a shout out on his, uh, his channel. So I figured, well, and I would do the same back to him. I would uh, also give him a shout out. And he goes by the name of Truck or Jerry. He uh, he's got a YouTube channel uh, for a while, I think already, but uh, he just recently uh, uh, got his driver's license and uh, started driving truck. He is currently with the trainer as uh, so I'm recording this video but I know uh, he was saying yesterday or he's been saying that all the uh, all, uh, last couple of weeks there already when he's been making his videos at the end of the week that uh, this trainer is saying he's doing really good and stuff like that. He feels pretty confident that he can get back on the road uh, without a trainer and he's going to be able to get in his own truck and uh, 
So what he did yesterday, he gave me a shout out and uh, left uh, my channel link uh, in his description box and that's what I will do too. I like watching his videos and uh, so I would uh, recommend uh, you guys go check out his channel. Uh, as I said, he goes by the name of Trucker Jukebox. I mean, uh, pardon me, Trucker Jerry. And uh, Trucker Jukebox had him on uh, a while back ago already. He met up with him and he did a video together with him. And so that's why I keep having the Trucker Jukebox in my head. <laughs> But anyways, uh, he's uh, he's currently in training as I'm recording this. But uh, his trainer, uh, his tra uh, trainer is uh, not very excited. It seems like to have him record shows while he's in training. So uh, I respect that. And uh, once he gets into his own truck, he might. Uh, he might have more videos, he might have uh, daily videos, that's what he said he's going to attempt to do. He's going to have daily videos up every day and uh, we'll see if that happens, but for right now he's more doing on the weekend stuff, showing you guys what he's up to on the weekend and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, definitely go check him out. I, uh, I think he's a good man. I think he's, uh, he's not one of those guys that thinks he knows everything and uh, as I like to call it, has a high nose, thinks uh, better of himself than anybody else out there. And he's at the beginning of his channel, but uh, I was there at 1.2. I still think that I'm at the beginning, but uh, 300 subscribers or 300 plus subscribers ain't, uh, ain't small in my book anymore, you know? I know, I know he's got 58, I know uh, he had 58 subscribers at least uh, yesterday, I haven't looked today, but uh, definitely check it out and uh, encourage him and uh, welcome him to the uh, industry. I know we're always short of drivers and uh, I hope he's going to become a good professional driver. Because we have enough steering wheel holders up here already. We don't really need more of those, but we do need good professional drivers out here. And I think he will do good. At least uh, that's what my opinion is. I think he will do good. Especially since he's got uh, a couple of weeks uh, worth of training. That always helps. I know a lot of companies, they, they only just whatever. If you got your license. You know, you get one week training or whatever, and, and you're you're on your own. You know, and at least uh, this company isn't doing that. So I think training is a is a very good thing. Uh, I think every driver should be at least four weeks with a uh, co-driver and get training. Uh, that's just my opinion. Somebody else is going to have a different opinion, but that is my opinion. Thanks Jerry for uh, giving me a shout out on your channel. I know you were very excited to uh, see me subscribe to your channel. I appreciate that. I uh, went into my channel and I looked up to see how long you were subscribed to my channel. And I saw that you were already uh, subscribed for over three months to my channel and you said on your channel that you watch a lot of my videos and that's great. That's great to hear. I know uh, not every video of mine is, is the same interest and stuff like that, but uh, we're certainly trying to do our best and I know we can always improve, every single one of us. I know I can improve, uh, I'm pretty sure of that. But that's the way it goes. You gotta start somewhere and uh, build your way up and uh, Try and do your best, right? But anyways, we are making our way over to Yorkton. Yeah. At least it's not as cold today than what it was yesterday. Yesterday was brutal. It, it was, you know, pretty brutal yesterday at least. Uh, 
in my opinion, but that's to be expected, I guess, up here in Canada. You guys have it lucky there in the southern states. I was watching Trucker Jukebox's video there yesterday, and he's up there in Louisiana, and you know, he's got nice green grass, and it's in its 70s, 60s degrees up there, you know. I'm like, oh, they smokes. I would, I would even be happy if it was like 50 degrees up here, or even 40. That would be, you know, that would be uh, pretty warm already up here. But oh well, we gotta go through this season of the year, and that's just the way it is. But uh, anyways, talking of uh, being beginners of uh, YouTube channel and uh, having a YouTube channel and stuff like that. I figure I share a little bit uh, of a story of my history of uh, where I came from and, uh, and uh, how I got to Canada and all that stuff. I was born in Bolivia and uh, grew up in Paraguay. I know I said this before that I grew up in Paraguay, but uh, I was born in Bolivia actually. And uh, in 2001 we decided to uh, move to Canada. And uh, we were we were a very poor family. We didn't have a lot of money, but we managed to get our paperwork in order so we could come here. And uh, we actually uh, wanted to fly right around September 11th. Actually, right, right just before that we were going to, or just after that. I mean, we were going to fly. I think just a couple of days after that. And then all of a sudden 9-11 happened. And then we were delayed until the 21st of September when we were finally allowed to, uh, to fly. And uh, we actually ended up having to uh, borrow about three quarters for, uh, of the money for, for the flight to come here to Canada. And that's the way we, uh, we were able to come to Canada. And I am very uh, proud of the people up there in Paraguay. The uh, people that were selling tickets and stuff like that, they were actually the people that uh, allowed us to uh, pay them in payments. I think I was able to pay uh, $700 as a down payment to my, for my flight to come here. And I still owe them uh, another, I think it was another $2,800 or something like that. I had to pay them with interest. And I'm very uh, thankful for them to uh, have loaned me the money that I could come here. And I will tell you right now, I had 300 US dollars in my pocket. And we had clothes with us and that's all we had. That was for me and my wife and my daughter. Very, very, very thankful for Canada for allowing us to come here and uh, start a life up here. And uh, I think I have been very, very successful up here in Canada. I know uh, I was watching Trucker Josh's video this morning, and he was saying, you know, if you want to make a lot of money, you could. Uh, Move to Alberta and work in the oil fields, but uh, I am living proof of that that you can also have a good life up in Manitoba. You just got to uh, be willing to work hard and uh, you got to be smart with your money. You got to uh, make sure that you can, you know, pay your rent. You have to go with a cheaper apartment and all that stuff and then you will survive and you will be successful if you are smart about your money and you don't just go and spend it anywhere and uh, as you guys can see I uh, I own a house I own a vehicle I bought that van brand new I have a Honda Odyssey and uh, I am just about finished paying off this truck that I uh, that I drive. It should be paid off by the end of March. I mean the end of February, the 1st of March. 
is when my last payment is basically due and then it should be my own truck I mean my house is not paid for but uh, I mean uh, look at me I, uh, I I think Canada has given me a great opportunity to be successful and I think I am successful I, do I live without debt? No I don't I think a lot of people have that not everybody obviously because there is a lot of rich people out there too you know but I ain't no rich man and uh, I am just an average hard-working man trying to uh, make a living for my family and uh, I think I'm doing pretty good for myself I am very proud of myself and uh, for what Canada has given me and provided me with we would have never been able to afford what we have if we were in South America, especially with uh, with our daughter, the way our daughter is. We have a uh, handicapped daughter. I know some of you will uh, probably not have seen my daughter, but. Uh, are probably a newer subscriber if you have not seen my daughter but uh, eventually I will show her again I have shown her previously and if you would like to see what she's uh, she's uh, what she's all about and uh, like to see her status you can go back under my channel and go uh, almost towards the bottom of last year's video where I did a trip to Kenora, Ontario and in that video I have my daughter in there so you can go check that video out and uh, I also do have a lot of other good videos out there on the bottom of, uh, of my channel that you probably have never seen and so go check those out I got some beautiful sceneries there from the summer in uh, British Columbia going through the Rocky Mountains and all kinds of stuff up there so uh, check those out but anyways I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of my life story of uh, what my life has been and uh, what I have made of it and uh, the opportunities that have been provided to me or given to me I am very thankful for uh, for all the opportunities that I have been given up here in Canada I think Canada is a very great country to be in and, uh, but anyways I'm starting to sound more like a recruiter to Canada and I don't want to do that I'm just saying all the good, good things that has, has been provided to me and, uh, but anyways enough of that you guys probably get bored of all that some of you at least some of, for some of you it's probably going to be interested to uh, hear where I come from and what my life is all about and uh, all that stuff so uh, here we are putting the hammer down let's just take a look at this big valley up here ah, these kind of valleys you will get up here in Saskatchewan every once in a while Yep, Canada, well even I think North America is, uh, is a uh, country of all kinds of valleys and hillies, hilly countries and uh, you know, hilly areas, you know, so and I, I think they are beautiful, I love hills and mountains and stuff like that, to me they are beautiful, but that's what we get up here going down into the valley I, I'm always amazed on why people always move into the valley but I don't know I guess they like living in between the mountains or hills somewhere I always would like to live on top of the hill look overlooking everything you know but, oh well that's just me right and that's why we are all different we just finished picking up our uh, trailer Preload a trailer. It was ready. I am very surprised that the load was ready. 
And we went over to the Petra truck stop up here. Grabbed ourselves a uh, sandwich and some milkshake. Not milkshake, uh, chocolate milk. That's what I meant to say. Now we're gonna put the hammer down and uh, get home. We should be able to make it home no problem today. We got about 520 clicks to go. Uh, about six hours we should be home. Or maybe even five and three quarters we should be in Steinbach and dropping our trailer and then uh, we will be home. Yep. Home sweet home, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Well, as I was uh, switching trailers up here, yeah, my truck is falling apart. I was switching trailers and uh, continue on this road for 15 Wanted kilometers. to step on the uh, catwalk step up there to climb onto the catwalk and uh, connect my airlines to the trailer because this one the, the airlines were a little further into the middle of the trailer and as I was stepping onto it my uh, uh, strap broke and <laughs> I basically uh, fell to the floor or to the ground so luckily I didn't get hurt but now we have to order a new strap so my truck is going to be back in the shop tomorrow again yeah, that sucks. But, what can you do, right? Yeah, I called my mechanic already and told him about it. We'll see, he didn't answer, but I left him a message, so... Uh, yeah, it, uh, it wasn't the bolt that was worn off or anything like that. It was the strap where the... Uh, bolt goes through the strap that was rubbed through all the way through where the bolt is uh, holding the strap up so uh, yeah so we have to uh, get a new strap that's for sure no question about it was able to strap it up and uh, luckily my tank has three strap three, uh, three straps if I can say it correctly so my tank is being hold, uh, hold up by two straps right now just gonna take her easy and hope for the best so we can make it home. Hopefully we don't lose our uh, fuel tank. That wouldn't be good. Too bad I fueled up in the Regina too. Uh, you got full tank of fuel too, so <laughs> that kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? Anyways, we're putting the hammer down and we will see you later. Well, 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 we have officially made it to our hometown of Steinbach, Manitoba. Yep, that's it. Just finished uh, doing all my paperwork, already dropped my trailer and uh, finished doing my uh, paperwork and uh, yeah, I would have just gone straight home, but uh, well, not with the trailer, but obviously would have dropped the trailer, but didn't really want to do the paperwork, but hey, tomorrow is cutoff day for uh, handing in our paperwork to, to, to uh, in order to go, for us to get paid on the next payday for this trip. I had to hand it in today. So, uh, well, I could have handed it in tomorrow, but I had to hand it in by 10 a.m. And tomorrow I won't have a lot of time to do that, so... Uh, Figured I'd do it today. I, uh, I'm going to uh, go first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to go wash the truck. And then I'll bring the truck over to my mechanic. I got some stuff that I got to get done. And uh, so, uh, hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos. I certainly know it was a little bit of a different topic today telling you guys a little bit about myself and my history and where I've been and all that stuff so uh, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed it though so uh, with that out of the way we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. if nothing goes wrong to according to plan we will have a video up tomorrow again so thanks for watching